I've played almost every single Pokemon game multiple times at this point, but Jane Animations is somehow correct. I've never actually played Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. And for that reason, I felt like her video on the game would be the perfect thing to react to, to find out whether or not I should finally give this game a shot. If you somehow have not already watched her video on the game, please go watch it. Please give her some support, but let's get into this. I played a lot of Pokemon in my days, and by Me that, too. I mean, I've played the same Pokemon game with various different skins, but I'm here today to showcase one of, <laughs> if not the most unique ideas for a Pokemon game Nintendo mm -hmm. has published for our tiny little hearts. And that game is called Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Bit of a mouthful. XD. A bit <laughs> unfortunate, XD. but it came out in 2005, so they get a pass. Why am I talking about it? I think it's an underground game not enough people know about. It does something different, kind of shakes up the formula. It's constantly overshadowed by its predecessor, Pokemon Coliseum. And yeah, okay, I played it as a kid. I'm very biased. I'll take your word for it. I never played Coliseum either. I just didn't have a GameCube as a kid. I was an Xbox kid. I, maybe I should play that one too. I don't know. We're focused on XD right now, okay? It, it, XD, Chattalugia. That's all I know. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? If you've not heard of it or played it, you're tough. <laughs> in for a treat today. The game opens That's up incredible. to a cargo boat, the SS Libra, out at sea, Ooh. where we find the captain and this guy who much steers better than standing being in at the, the back helm. Of a truck. All is calm and serene when suddenly they mm -hmm. get swatted. Oh, and God. it's not no ordinary SWAT today, folks. No, sir. This is a Lugia SWAT. They run Ooh. out to see what's going on, and the captain Shadow looks Lugia. up and makes his face as if he wants to kiss Lugia passionately on the lips. But Lugia's not here for kisses. <laughs> He's here for the opposite of kisses. What's that? Which is crime. He <laughs> hyperbeams the cargo... The combination of the captain wants to kiss Lugia. Lugia's not here for that. It's crime time, baby. Ship and then steals it. You heard me right. Just blasts the thing That's point definitely blank crime. and takes it away. Lugia's ship now. The presumably only two people on the entire boat fall mm -hmm. into the water and are left to just drown in the ocean, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's too much well, that crime, Lugia. Raw. What are we, a minute in and two people are dead? Gen 10 could never. Hard cut to me True. because that's more important. You play uh -huh. as this boy kid named hey. Michael, but actually Mikey. his name is Jaden now because that's me. Well, the game throws you into the middle of this intense looking yeah. fight between a Salamence and Michaels. Metagross, both level 50. I don't know where I am, what the stakes are, who I am, but this battle seems really important and tough, so I'm going to give it all my in. all and immediately Oko it. Woo. I did it! Screen goes black. There I we open go. my eyes, everything's nice. blurry. Wake up, Jaden, you've been in a coma for 15 years. Turns out I live in a friendly laboratory run by oh. this Professor Crane and his lab guys. Crane. I get up and the guy running the battle simulation tells me how good of a battler uh... I've become. Oh, thanks, man. Huh. Then he immediately negs me by telling me it's a... Pokemon is acknowledging battling simulators, but we still haven't gotten one as a game? What's that about? I didn't actually know they've ever been like, yeah, battling simulators. That sounds like a great way to get better as a Pokemon battler. It'd be cool if they released one. It's about time I go out and get myself more Pokemon besides my one lame Eevee. Backhanded Fair. compliment at a child, but I'll take it, I think. I go into Crane's office where him and my mom are talking, and he says he heard from the battle coach that my battling skills have improved dramatically and how proud he is of me. Yeah. Last time I saw Jaden battle, she was dominating a tournament I was hosting with Wolfie, so like... Fair. To which my professor. own mom tells him to stop giving me compliments and praise because I'm going to end up spoiled rotten. Oh, come on. I don't know what kind of a response that is to a child receiving praise. Either I'm already a cocky little bastard or I'm being currently emotionally neglected by everyone in oh. this building. Whatever it is, I don't think it's healthy for my mental development. To make this nah, mother look even leave. worse, we realize her only other child, Jovi, is missing and no one is looking for her. The world is only what? filled with overpowered wild rabbit animals and crazy people. No, I'm sure it's fine you haven't started looking for her. Keep doing what you're doing. I get a lead saying she really likes hanging out with family friend mad scientist Dr. Kaminko, so I head over to his house and I'm about to knock on his creepy <laughs> door when this tiny the... little blind What's man, Tobin, the doctor's assistant, walks up and is like, burglar! And challenges me <laughs> to a battle to which sun I win kern? because he only has a level 5 sun kern. Dobie comes out and is like, There is so much happening. 
I don't understand any of the characters, and there's a lot of goofy characters. But this man with a level five sun curve. Why was there ever a character in any Pokemon game with a level five sun curve? <laughs> Burglar, I know what to do. Take the seed, chuck the seed. Ha <laughs> ha, the day is saved. Oh, hi, big What's brother. What's going on, it's man? Jovi. Did you get lost, big brother? Silly big brother, Jovi will guide you back home. All right, I see why no one was looking for it now. We return home to the <laughs> lab and they present me with a snag machine, Ooh. a machine that allows the user to now catch shadow Pokemon, which are Pokemon that have and been so abused shadow that they Pokemon. turn evil. Now, they're saying they Very haven't cool. seen or heard of any shadow Pokemon that exist anymore because they've all been purified years ago, but okay. who knows when they could start popping up again. Better be safe than sorry. Bam, some guys from a secret organization called Cypher bust into the lab, beat everyone up, steal Professor Crane, Wait. show off their shadow Pokemon and run off to their secret base to never be seen again. Well, I'll be. The lab is in shambles. I like to steal the professor as if they're stealing like a Pokeball with a Pokemon in it. The cyborg arm looks very cool, though. I I, I got to give the game credit. Well, and also Jane, because she made the incredible animation. Just not knowing what to do, but then decides they're going to complete their purification chamber in his honor because shadow Pokemon are back and they want to do something about it. They sent me off in to his this honor? seaside town, Gadion Fort, alive. to retrieve a machine part they need. And Joby pesters our mom to come with because Joby Go doesn't think him. I can handle going out on my own. And Jovi needs to hold my hand and guide her big brother the whole way. Okay, not only does this little snot talk in the third person for no reason, <laughs> maybe our mom didn't care enough to get us any education. Perhaps she was worried the teacher would give us a compliment, heaven forbid. But she's also the most annoying character I've ever witnessed in any media. And I've watched an episode of My Hero Academia with a grape kid in it. We got all right, that didn't mean anything to me, but any media, not any Pokemon game, which is already a very high bar to clear. There are some absurdly annoying characters. Older Sun and Moon has at least 728 different cutscenes, and none of them are fun, and the characters at some points are incredibly annoying. But any media? You might be losing me, XD Gale of Darkness. Yeah, you might be losing me. We go to Gadion Port, and not two seconds pass until Joby pisses off this random guy, Zook, who happens to be the buffest man in the world. He's about to punt her, and I'm about to do nothing about it, when this Sometimes old man and his color-coded henchmen game. step in and obliterate his shadow Zangoose. Old man, I was about to be free of everything that is bad in my life. And you took that away from me. We get the part, head back, and mom tells me about this spot in Agate Village called the Relic Stone where you can naturally Modern purify art. Pokemon. I don't know why you're making your own purifying chamber then yeah. when there's a rock that already does go that. Save the I go to Agate and this very enthusiastic man with a Pikachu shows me the stone and I'm like, Modern art. Cool. To which he's like, by the way, my friend Vander might know where Cypher took Crane. Good. Oh. Okay. I go talk to Vander and he points to this random spot in the desert on my map and is like, oh, they're right here. I saw them. What <laughs> were you doing out there? That's literally just sand. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? A headquarters. Huh. I start infiltrating the base, battling all the grunts that fall from the ceiling. I might have more questions than I had before I came into this video about this game. But we're doing the Pokemon thing. It's been a bit. Snacking any shadow Pokemon I find. Nice. Until I reach Pink Hatsune Miku, who's trying to get sure. information out of Crane about purifying shadow Pokemon. I battle her and win, which means I get to unkidnap him. And while nice. heading out, I find this data <laughs> ROM on the ground. Huh. This seems very important and like it has a lot of secret information professor? about Cypher on it. <laughs> Convenient. Brain returns to the lab and everyone's mm -hmm. happy and then they send me to mm. Pyrite Town to find Net, a guy that should be able to mm. crack the ROM and access all Minecraft the information squared. on nice. it. So I head there and he's like, yeah, we can crack this, smile. While he's hacking it, I go out and play around in a random cave and run into Mirror B. This guy doesn't oh, yeah. do much in this game, honestly, but okay. I just want to make sure you know he exists and listen to his music. And his song? Yeah, wow. People love this song. That's all I got. People really love this song, man. Electabuzz. Wait, no, go back to Electabuzz's great dance moves. Yeah, he's grooving to the beat. I go check on Ned again, and Cypher's bust in, beat everyone up, and Wait. kidnapped another person. Oh, come on. Have you guys min-maxed how to kidnap people or something? You're two for two at this point, and are scarily efficient at it. They try to hostage situation the data ROM back, and even though I beat up this big man and take all his shadow Pokemon, Ned still wusses <laughs> out and gives the ROM back. He thought he was being two come steps ahead. 
ahead man. because he saved all the information on his server already. But Cypher just logs on and... Wait a second. No wonder they're kidnapping people with ease. That person is enormous. Cypher just logs on and deletes everything anyway. Oh. <laughs> Net says the only thing he remembers from the ROM was that Cypher was behind the disappearance of the SS Libra. And they're about to attack Shocking. this city nearby called Fennec. And oh. someone needs to go warn them. I guess I'm just Mr. Scooter across the desert and save everyone today, well, aren't I? I head to Fennec to, to warn the mayor about the attack, and as soon as I arrive, this lady hits me with a confetti cannon, congratulates me on being the millionth visitor to the city, <laughs> and shoes me away to celebrate at Real Gam Tower. I try to get around her because this is important, but she's determined to gatekeep me no matter what I do. What so I just go game? there and realize she literally sent a child to illegally gamble his life away. <laughs> wow, no one in this region likes children, do they? After not being able to figure out how to play bingo, I head back, sneak it. Wait, so being the a millionth visitor, your your prize is gambling your own money away? It's not, they don't even give you money. It's just, this game is insane. That I got nothing else. It's insane. Into the mayor's house, distract his house sitter with music, and find out the mayor was trying to write a note to Justy, the city's gym leader, warning him about the cyber <laughs> Wait, there's attack. gym leaders? I don't know why the mayor was trying to ask this random gym guy to help, but he was kidnapped halfway through writing it, so I guess no, it doesn't matter. Cypher realizes I now know what's up, and everyone in town reveals themselves to be disguised cypher grunts. Oh my god, they kidnapped the entire town. I don't care what kind of organization you're from, if you can successfully kidnap a village, You've earned my respect. I beat up Cypher, yeah. rescue their shadow Pokemon, and free literally everyone in the town who is locked in the wow. city basement. Wait, they actually kidnapped the entire town? I didn't know if that was a joke. This game's crazy, man, but I will say, I one of the coolest things about Jaden's videos, and especially watching the evolution of them, her team keeps getting better and better, but there's no time wasted like, oh, and then I caught this specific Pokemon it's not as important for the story i know it's, i'm breaking the immersion by pausing that's why you had to watch it beforehand it show her incredible video support but it's just really cool to see it's cool to, to watch a pokemon video where the pokemon the regular pokemon park can take a back seat to a, just a really fun story justy says he saw something suspicious going on in the desert and points to things. another random sand spot on my map <laughs> i should go investigate honestly how are all these people just stumbling onto these <laughs> shenanigans in the middle of the desert? And why are they able to give the latitude longitude of these locations well, after finding them? This has got to be like tens of miles out from any sort of civilization. This is where people run out of gas in their car and then shrivel up and die before anyone can find them. Why were you here? Wow. Yep. That's the cargo ship. How did you find this? All right, what is so enthralling huh. about this desert that crime and vigilante justice is constantly going on in every square inch of this place? I feel like we're really missing. Why, why would Lugia bring like a cruise ship into the middle of a desert? That's so much work. Cypher's running around on the ship and after I take their shadow Pokemon and chase them out, this group of strangers calling themselves Team Snagum walks up and <laughs> rupees me. I wake up, realize they stole my snag machine. This random old man who just started living in the wrecked boat said he saw them head off Team in that direction snag and points to the middle of nowhere on my map again. You people are beyond me. I show up and wow, another headquarters for crime. I make my way to their head honcho, Gonzap, who's trying to put on my snag machine, but he's too big and muscular and adult. <laughs> and since I am a child, it does not fit on his giant muscle arm. He pretty much gives up at- how do, how do his eyebrows do that? Sure. Asks if I want to join Team Snagum. Sure. I say yes, but he fights me anyway. Aww. And after I beat him, he's like, actually, you can have your arm thing back. We're not enemies. Awesome. Oh. So why am I here? You drugged me, stole my stuff, and then just called friendship and gave it back. I find Cypher's shadow Pokemon factory and walk up to the actual biggest men I've ever- Wait, so what was the point of Team Snagum? I don't understand. <laughs> what was the point? Ever seen in the world. How naive I was to think Zook was big. Foolish me. Anyway, they're about to beat me TF up when Gonzap shows up, yeah, expresses his devotion to our newly blossoming friendship, and Never rupees mind, them for it. me. 
thanks, man. You're really consistent at that. I go inside and climb to the roof where their power <laughs> generator is. There's a tiny uh -huh. little piece of paper there that says, use system lever to adjust voltage. Mm. Do not raise voltage too high. Ah. Crank. A guy comes out and starts yelling at me with his Pokemon when the tiny old man who accidentally ruined my life in Gadion Port comes on screen and is like, I'm evil and creating a Pokemon that's unpurifiable. Come get me. This is my IP address. I need to cross the ocean to get to him because oh. he's basically on evil Hawaii. So I take this Robo Kyogre from Kaminko, speedboat my way there, that's and you sick. guessed it fight everyone in the building slash volcano until I get to the big little man. It's After fighting Pokemon. an entire country's worth of people, uh -huh. I find him. His name's Grievel, by the way. <laughs> Grievel? I can't believe they named him Grievel. <laughs> by the way. And he's like, I'm surprised you made it this far. Uh, what do you got for us, Grievel? <laughs> well, I'm busy. Don't bother me. And blocks me with a giant pane of glass. Honestly, That's out of cool. all the fictional That's villains I've move. seen, I like this it. is surprisingly <laughs> decently reasonable. But I'm not going to just sit here and stare at him behind the glass like a goldfish at PetSmart. So I just walk around and use the side door, which really sets him off. <laughs> What? I mean, dude, either lock the door or don't have it. This is just what doors do. Grievel's like, you blew up our shadow Pokemon factory. You got past my glass. That's it. I'm summoning Shadow Lugia, Finally, the first Pokemon Lugia to time. ever be unpurifiable. Come forth and obliterate uh -huh. this small boy. To which I just master ball it. Really overlooked that one, didn't you, mate? He may not be purifiable, but he's mine now. <laughs> Huge L. Reval gets so beyond pissed that he decides to open his creepy eyes and fight me himself. He wasn't fighting you when he sent out the Lugia? So with Pokemon logic, if Grievel was using Shadow Lugia in a battle, could you still catch Shadow Lugia? But in this game, you catch the Shadow Pokemon. So I guess you could catch it regardless. I might be confused, but I do know if I was Grievel and someone stole my Shadow Lugia, I would not battle them. I would be running for the hills. That thing just stole an entire boat. And I was surprised to realize not only does he have a team of all Shadow Pokemon, but he uh -huh. somehow nabbed Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. I'll be what? honest, it was a really, really hard fight because That's Shadow Pokemon crazy. are super effective against all non-Shadow Pokemon. I don't Wait, know how it took me this long really? to tell you that, but that's how it works. They had such important contacts. That's insane. Oh my God. So instead of trying to catch them all, like I've been doing this whole time, I really just beat them up and they ran away. So I win. Wow. Cypher has officially lost everything and it's all because of me. The little boy. Blue henchman runs up to Grievel and is like, Sir, I have a plan. It's a very tall Let's man. Let's blow up the island with the kid on it. Which is like, oh my god. And then red henchman is like, Okay, that's a bit too far, man. Dad, let's go home. Yeah, they pulled the I'm your father slash son twist on us. But it has very little effect on me because I do not care about these people. <laughs> anyway, they decide to not blow up the island with me on it and stop being evil, I think. Bye. I'm like 60% sure. And then happy ending, I just go home. So what do you think? <laughs> For some reason, I really liked the game as a kid. I never actually beat it because I didn't know how to get past the gatekeeping woman in Fennec. Glad I figured it out this time. I also wanted to mention how lively the animations are in this game. Sure, some of the Pokemon look god awful. They gave Houndor human knees that bent forward, but they're all just so expressive <laughs> and show so much care and personality. It may be pretty sad the current games don't show this much passion, but I guess that's just what makes these games more cherishable. Anyway, the game was fun and weird. I liked it. See ya. I have no idea what I was expecting going into this video, but this game is crazy. I have to give it a chance soon. If that's something you want to see, let me know. Maybe I'll make it happen. But either way, this was a lot of fun and man. I hope we get a third game like this at some point.